Hey everyone, it's Sabrina, your registered dietitian here, and my intern Satali. This month's nutrition education topic will be all about the nutrition facts label. People look at food labels for a variety of different reasons, and many consumers would like to know how to use this information more effectively and easily. After this video, you will be able to use the nutrition facts label to make quick and informed food choices that are aligned with your health goals. The information in the main or top section of the nutrition label can vary with each food and beverage. It contains product specific information such as serving size, calories, and nutrient information. The bottom section contains a footnote that explains the percent daily value and gives the number of calories used for general nutrition advice. Serving size information will tell you the number of servings in the package and the serving size. Serving sizes are standardized to make uh, comparing different foods easier. They provide familiar units such as cups or pieces, um, followed by the metric amount. So for example, uh, grams. And the sample label, one serving equals 220 calories. If you had two servings, you would have to double the nutrient and calorie amounts as well as the percent daily value. The serving size is not a recommendation of how much you should be eating or drinking. This should only be based on your own levels of hunger and fullness. Calories provide a measure of how much energy you get from your food. In this example, there are 220 calories in one serving, based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Your calorie needs may be higher or lower and vary depending on your age, sex, height, weight, and physical activity level. The next section shows you some, some key nutrients that impact your health. You can use the label to support your personal dietary needs. Look for foods that contain more of the nutrients that you want to get and less of the nutrients that you may be wanting to avoid. So for example, if you were trying to follow a low sodium diet, you'd want to look at the sodium content on the label. Total sugars on the Nutrition Facts label include sugars naturally present in many nutritious foods and beverages, such as naturally occurring sugar found in milk and fruit, as well as added sugars that may be present in the product. Added sugars on the Nutrition Facts label include sugars that are added during the processing of that food, such as sucrose or dextrose. Foods packaged um, as sweeteners, such as table sugar, sugar from syrups and honey, and sugars from concentrated fruit or vegetable juices. Now dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium are all nutrients on the label that Americans do not generally get the recommended amount of. This is a good area to focus on when choosing nutrient-dense foods. The percent daily value is a guide to the amount of nutrients in one serving of food. So for example, if the label lists 15% of calcium, it means that one serving provides 15% of the calcium you need in that day. The percent daily value helps you determine if a serving of food is high or low in a nutrient. So the general guide to percent daily value is 5% or less of a nutrient per serving is considered low, whereas 20% of the daily value is considered high. So if you're looking at ways to increase nutrition, choose foods that are higher in percent daily value for dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. These are all nutrients that Americans need to get more of. And you guys know how much I love talking about fiber. So fiber is great for promoting regular bowel movements and lowering blood glucose and cholesterol levels. Foods lower in percent daily value to look for would be saturated fats, sodium, and added sugars. For example, we know that eating too much saturated fat and sodium is associated with an increase in developing some health conditions like heart disease and high blood pressure. So use the percent daily value to compare foods and products, um, and more often choose products that are higher in the nutrients that you want to get more of. You can also use the percent daily value to help you make dietary trade-offs with other foods throughout the day. You don't have to give up a food, especially your favorite foods, um, to eat in a healthful way. Um, if you have a food that's higher in saturated fat, balance it with other foods throughout the day that are lower in saturated fat. So we have a fun activity to put our new knowledge to use. We created a nutrition scavenger hunt that allows you to use uh, label reading skills to find products that match the description. So right here we have our scavenger hunt activity. So it includes topics like contains more whole grains, a product with no cholesterol, has more than 200 calories per serving, 
a product that contains more than five grams of protein per serving, and so on. But today, for this activity, I'm gonna have us look through these products right here and choose one that is a product with no sodium. So, using our newfound knowledge, we'll look at this nutrition facts label and we'll go to that sodium section. This one does have added sodium in it. So, our answer here would be our dried oats. So, oatmeal, if you look at that sodium section, has zero milligrams or zero percent daily value. So if you guys would like to try this whole game out with us and match all the different foods in their correct category, come out to our farmer's market and we will play a game. Thanks so much. Bye.